morning guys um last time you saw me we were at the casino um we played for a while we ate lunch we played blackjack um for the first time and i won a hundred dollars and i lost a hundred dollars <laughs> uh, i started with 20 whenever i go to the casino only spend sixty dollars only bring sixty dollars once that sixty dollars is gone I am done. I'm very strict on that rule. So I played 20. I started the table with 20. I won 100 and then I lost it all. So I only lost $20 for real. Um, and then I got on my favorite slot, Jackpot Party. If you don't know about it, check it out. And I won $115. So I think I did good. Um, after we left the casino, we went to the outlets I didn't record there this is outlet mall and I got a few things so um, I'll show you guys what I purchased at the outlet mall and then I'm probably I'm dressed already ready to go we're going to Kalahari water park he's getting ready now so I'll show you guys what I purchased and then I'll probably get some reading in before we leave I'm wearing my Books Turn Muggles Into Wizards t-shirt from Redbubble. I love this t-shirt. It's so soft and it's so cute and I get so many compliments on it. So this is the outfit for today. We're heading to the water park. My hair is in a ponytail because these braids are so long. I'm going to have to cut these braids. They're a little too long for my liking. So, you guys, I'm getting sick. Of course, every vacation, every break from school, I get sick. Non-stop at never fail. So, we're going to stop at CDF, which is near our hotel, to get some stuff. Went to the outlets. And, of course, if you don't know, if I've never told you guys, my purse addiction... It's Kate Spade. Kate Spade style really encapsulates my style. I love Kate Spade. So, of course, we went to the Kate Spade store. And I was looking at this bag for my birthday. <clears throat> but, um, I really didn't want to spend the money at the time because I knew we were going on a trip, so we were paying on that. So, I found the bag I wanted for my birthday. At the Kate Spade outlet. So if you know the Kate Spade, all the outlets are discounted prices. And this bag, um, original price is five hundred. I got it for one ninety. Discounts, like I have an alter ego. My friends called Tiffany, and she tends to lose her mind when it comes to shopping. But going to outlets and stuff kind of satisfies me as the discount shopper and my alter ego Tiffany as the I don't care what it costs, I want it, I want it shopper. So I got the bag I was looking for for my birthday and only paid $1.90 for it. And I'm telling you guys, bargain shop, it feels good, it feels good. You get what you want. And I flipped out. I have the matching crossbody purse in this style. And I wanted this to be like an everyday bag. So I got that from Kate Spade. And of course, um, Michael Kors, which is another brand that I like. Uh, I like Michael Kors. I love Kate Spade. I got um, the tote bag. And they had like a bundle sale. So you got the tote and the matching wallet for $150. $150, you guys. The wallet alone is $169. The bag is $450. So I don't know why they did that. But I think I'm going to go back and get um, my best friend a set for her birthday and just save it for her 
and give it to her on her birthday. I might. I don't know. She would get on my nerves. But I might. Um, and that's what I got from the outlets. This <coughs> Kyle, who's, who's what? Kyle, um, said, I got gray because all my purses are black. I have one white purse and maybe one brown purse. Even, let me show you guys. Hold on a second. Even my book bag, which is Kate Spade, is black. Everything, all, all my stuff is black. I love black purses. Like, I just, I feel like you can't go wrong with a black purse. You'll always, it'll match everything. You never have to worry about anything. So, I love a black purse. But he was just like, they, you have too many black purses. I get something else. So, that's why I got the gray in Michael Kors. So, I figured gray is a neutral color. Gray is one of my favorite colors. As you guys can see, if you see in my videos, my whole house is painted gray. A light gray and then a darker shade of gray. So, I wanted to get this gray because gray can go with like all your light colors. Other than white. White bags get dirty way too quickly. So I got gray instead, and I love it, I love it. I really want to go back and get the black, but I'm not going to do that. I might go back and get it again for my best friend, but, right. So that was the sale that was going on at the Michael Kors outlet. I don't know if they're trying to get rid of these bags and these wallets, but that benefits the bargain shopper for me. So that's it. I had everything again. Kate Spade wallet. I'm addicted to Kate Spade. She's my spirit animal. When she died, well, sorry, when she committed suicide, I was just like, you never know what someone's going through. And to commit suicide is such a, a, I don't even know how to explain it. But, pay homage to Kate Spade. I'm praying that she is okay wherever she is right now and I still support her brand. I love Kate Spade, Kate Spade Kids all day, every day. And that's pretty much it for what I got. He got a pair of sneakers from the Nike outlet. Um, let me see if I can wrap those two. Real quick. <clears throat> this is what he purchased. Now, I went in the Nike outlet and I really didn't see anything I liked. And I tried on one pair of sneakers, but they weren't comfortable. The sneakers I tried on were like $80 discounted. And I was wearing my red pair of sneakers that I had on yesterday were $30, $29, 20, $28, $29 from Amazon. And they're like some no name from China sneakers. And they are so comfortable. I put on the Nikes. I was like, these are uncomfortable. I'm not buying sneakers that are over $80 that aren't comfortable as my $30 sneakers. So what I'm going to be doing is going back to Amazon and purchasing the sneakers that I just bought in black and gray. Because they're, the cost of the two sneakers, the black and gray, is still going to be cheaper than the one pair of sneakers that I saw at Nike that were not comfortable. So that's the plan. He likes them. I like them on him. They're cute. But Nike is... I didn't know Nike was so expensive. I don't mean to go on a rant. And I know this is supposed to be a reading vlog. But this is kind of a reading vacation trip vlog for me. Nike is expensive. We're in the outlet stores, guys. The, the outlet stores in Nike. And the sweatpants and things like that were discounted $50. I did not know Nike was so expensive. How was the discount in the outlet stores $50? I was talking to my parents last night and I was just like, outlet stores don't seem as cheap as they did when we were kids. We went to the Levi store, the outlet Levi store, the jeans were still like $60. They had a sale. If you buy two, they're $40 a piece. I'm just like, people, I guess we spend our money on what we want to spend our money on. I'd rather buy Kate Spade and bags and books than 
a fifty sixty dollar pair of jeans when I can go to like Fashion Nova or not to promote Fashion Nova, but somewhere else to get a, a cheaper pair of jeans. I don't know. That's just my logic. I remember as a child going to that same outlet store and stuff was a lot cheaper. It was it just baffled me how expensive clothes and merchandise is nowadays. It's a, it's crazy. But that's our my haul, mini haul, from the outlet that we went to after we went shopping. After we went to the casino. Yeah, sorry. Alright, I'm about to read my book and let's read some more saga. I bought three books with me. I don't know why I did that. I already knew that we were going to be ripping and running. So I wasn't going to get much time to sit and read. But I'm enjoying saga. So we're going to sit and read that. Kalahari, Kalahari Water Park. We're on our way in now. Ready, babe? Let's go. I remember to put my contacts in, guys, because I'd have been so upset with myself if I forgot them and had to be in this water park with my glasses. I cannot not wear my glasses for a long period of time because it will give me a migraine. So, let's go. Water Park. I hate roller coasters. But I love water parks, so any place I'll go to is a water park over a roller coaster any day, any day. You all know I'm a lifeguard, so I'm a fish. But we're here. Babe. Captain's log. <laughs> you gotta be so extra. <laughs> See you in a second. fun it's huge it's a lot of people but it's it's spacious and it I now the thing is about call it hard if you don't know if you are staying in the hotel at the resort the water park is free if you are not staying at the resort the day pass is a hundred and twenty four dollars a person and is at ninety seven dollars a person if you get the evening pass so it's not cheap to go to this water park now I for that price I do believe that is a bit much $124 a person is way too much I mean you're not this is not Six Flags I get you get Six Flags you can go to their outdoor park and their water park 
for that amount. Like, this is an indoor water park. It's only but so big. But we enjoyed ourselves. The food was very affordable. I got a slice of pizza, which was $5.00 fries were five dollars like when you go to these amusement parks i take my students to camel beach Stony park i'm an amusement park person my students go all the time summer camp we go everywhere and food is always so expensive i would say that the food is very cheap but it's basic basic amusement park food this one guy in front of us wife's ordered a chef salad he opened up the container and looked at it and it was like cut up lunch meat a half an egg lettuce and a bunch of cheese and he was like i already know right now my wife is gonna send me back with this so don't expect us to pay to she's not gonna want this so it's a very basic um amusement park food i did enjoy it they as an adult going there with no children they have an adult bar, swim up bar area that is heated. It was amazing. The drinks are watered down, guys. Like, we got two frozen drinks, which tasted like nothing. And one of mine, I had 151 in it, and it didn't taste like any alcohol. And we, I had a, a drinks on the rocks, and it also had 151 in it and vodka and it was like a long island kind of situation and it still didn't taste like nothing so don't go there expecting to be tore up and they have these large drink i think it's 45 ounces babe 45 ounce cups yeah. they want 45 dollars for them and i watched one girl make the drink she put three shots in the 45 ounce cup of alcohol and that was it so don't expect to you paying for these alcoholic beverages that aren't really alcoholic beverages they're full of ice and juice so i wouldn't spend my money on drinks at kalahari but if you know it's a water park so you're really not going there to get toasted but it wasn't worth it drinks weren't worth it definitely i would if you drink beer i don't drink beer he drinks beer i would suggest getting a beer save your money it's not the other stuff isn't worth it. But we're back. I'm going to start. I felt like I needed a break from Saga. So I think I'm going to start um, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. I tried to start this yesterday on the drive to the casino. But I didn't. So I'm going to start it tonight and see how far I get. Alright guys. Talk to you later.